Please subscribe and share this video with your friends. Welcome to The Dating Den, in for Christian Anderson. I'm Jordan Harbinger with the beautiful Marty Batista. Thanks. <laughs> Not scripted at all. Well done, that was so good. <laughs> ladies, ladies, um, no Mercedes, but I've got, <laughs> I've got What's Jordan. What's that mean? I don't even know, it just rhymes and there's a song with, yeah, big butts, whatever. Mm. Jordan is here from The Art of Charm and he is obviously charming and really super smart. And so, <laughs> Super. So today we are answering a question. Literally, I think it's like the yeah. number one question. And I just went to a, another one of those man panel events. Have you ever sat in on one of those? I have, yes. It's good, right? It depends. Well, I've been to ones <laughs> that are really amazing, but okay. I'm fascinated. This is why I think it's great that you're here. It doesn't matter whether the guy's 25, 35, 55, or 65. In the end, what men want is sort of the same thing. Sure. So we're going to have the lovely and handsome and single Jordan. <laughs> Recently single. You think not, that, not single because there's something wrong. Exactly, <laughs> right. Of <laughs> Just throw that in there. Insert that in there. Exactly. <laughs> no, of course. Duh. So what do what yeah. do what do men want? Like if we could unlock the um, mind and read inside, what what's there? I think if you could open up a man's mind and tell us what we really want, we would really appreciate it. Because really? I think most guys don't know. It's kind of like Wait, that's a news flash. Can we just let that sink in? Let it sink in. Okay, so most men don't really know what they want. Right. It's like it's kind of like porn. We know it when we see it, but we can't really articulate exactly <laughs> right. what it is. Right. Right. Okay. Right? And and the problem is, guy, girls are always like, "So what are you looking for?" And we're like, uh, "I don't know, like a cool chick who's like." Also good looking and like, right. you know, like fun. That doesn't really mean anything. No one's going to be like, I want someone who's boring, pretty mediocre. Right. Or, like, okay. Not this very is, attractive. Right. No one's going to say that. right? Okay. Right. <laughs> no definitely. No, definitely yeah. not. So how, so how do they, there's like you said, there's sort of like an evolution. And I talk right. about the manimals, which is sort of like how man, yes. vol they evolve. I call it man evolution. Man evolution. So what does that look like inside the male guy? For, for me and for a lot of my clients at The Art of Charm, yeah. what it looks like is first you're like, oh, I just need to be able to get girls at all because I i don't know how to do that, right? Okay, so like, number one, okay, the so hunter. Go for it. We teach you how to get the girl. And then you're like, oh, well, I'm getting girls, but I want to get some really, really like attractive, top-notch women. Okay, cool. We teach okay. you how to do that. <laughs> then you're like, wait, I want that, but not crazy. Okay, then we teach you how to screen that in. And then it's like, but can, I don't can, just want can that. Can we pause? Can we just pause? So how would a guy define crazy? What What is crazy to oh, a guy? Crazy is not a high bar, unfortunately, <laughs> because you can be not crazy but get labeled as such. And the way that you oh, do that okay. is by, for example, well, you know how women read a lot into what guys say, like really deep into what guys say? Oh, they read. So it's literally every woman is, what does it mean when he, like, right. Blinks with one left eye. Right. What does it mean when he asks a question? There's no emoticon after his text. So, like, I'm going to not sleep tonight because of that, right? Okay, so yes, and we own it. We do that. So, like, sharing all of that makes you look a little crazy, but also guys read into... So, whereas women read a lot into everything that guys do or a lot of things that guys do, guys only read a little bit into things that women do all the time, right? So, that women oh, do a lot. Oh, so the little so things little, little all inverse. the time. Right, okay. so, for example, if... If I'm really busy on the weekend okay. and I don't get a chance to hang out, she and she calls and is like, well, you went surfing. I'm like, hmm, yeah, that's true, but whatever. You know, and then that week we were supposed to do lunch and I had to push it an hour. And she's like, okay. well, I was waiting here for like an hour. I'm like, I'm sorry, it was a business thing. Okay. You know, and then the next weekend I'm trying to schedule something right? that I can't. And she's like, well, you went surfing last weekend and I didn't get to see you. I'm like, oh, she's annoying. She's annoying. Okay, so let me just pause in there. Right. So I need to put some like little clarifications in there. So, but in this example, you like the girl. So, yeah, right? Yeah. Okay, so maybe you went I'm surfing. I'm not like dodging. Right, or so being you were calling weird, yeah. her, texting her, sure. and you're like giving her validation. So, yeah. so, ladies, so crazy looks like he's having his own life and, and shit happens. And he's calling you right. and he's saying he's going to be late. And you start to read into it. Right. I'm not just being flaky and being like, ah, I'm just not going to call her this weekend. Uh, right. I'm okay. just going to be an hour late for lunch because who cares? Right. So there's you a know. very big difference. Okay. Yeah. So so crazy is starting to um, take everything he does and make mm. it be about you. Yeah, totally. <laughs> okay. I, I, um, I got set up with a girl through a friend and I called and left her a message 
and she didn't get it. Like the text didn't go through. The okay, I okay. left her a voicemail once, but then I sent her a text okay. like two days later because I didn't hear back. Yeah. Then like four days later, I called her again because I was like, huh, I didn't That's hear weird, back. Right. And she goes, well, I called you back and I never heard anything else. And I was like, well, I didn't get your missed call for which she did not leave a voicemail. Okay. And then since she, since she didn't get my text, she thought that I ignored her for four days and she told our mutual friend that she doesn't feel like a priority and da da da. Reality check, never met this girl in real life, was just being set up with her oh f- through my, my friend. Gosh. Okay. So I'm like, you're right, you're not a priority. So, I don't know you. so I always tell women that in order to get a great guy, you have to be 10% better than 90% of the women. Right. Okay. Low bar. Right? Low bar. Right. So, so. Um, not taking things personally, allowing a guy to have his own independent time and his mm-hmm. own friends, um, communicating. You were talking totally. about that, communicating. This is how you show up uh, 10% better. And because you know it doesn't really take much, you just have to master some basic right. skills. That's what men really want. It really is. Like We just don't want to deal with drama. Um, and okay. we understand that if we cause it, you know. We we gotta do okay with that. okay, but that but we don't want it to be excessive. It's, okay, no excessive. There should be drama. no need for that. And you know, in addition, yeah, we're always looking at girls with like boobs and butts and right? dresses. But like, really, at the end of the day, it's we also at some level realize like, eh, that's not that's whatever. not really. Um, a guy I was talking to once said that he um, could go into any sort of like shopping mall or public place, and he could say that there's definitely girls that are attractive or hot, and then there's girls that you want to actually um, hang out with. Totally. And and I love this because it's they might be like sexy or sexual or whatever, but that doesn't mean that you want to have that kind of woman definitely. like as your as your wife. Right. So men are not only looking for like size zero, big boobs, perfect hair, no wrinkles. Wrinkles, right. uh, the smart guys. Okay, so really quickly, so we're talking about manvolution. So first they do like I just want to get girls, then I want to get pretty girls, then I want to get like smart pretty girls, girls who aren't crazy. Who are girls, crazy? Because yeah. so then how does it go? And then it's like pretty girls who have a lot in common with me that I can hang out with, and then you get to that point where the cross section of like attraction meets right. best friend, right? And then you're like, this is what I want, right? Okay. And that's what, and also it's got to be someone that's going to grow with you. Oh, that's an and important part. That's probably a whole different video, episode, but right. <laughs> but it has to be someone that's going to grow with you, right? Because the problem is, and guys do this all the time. They're like, "Oh, I got a girlfriend, so when I'm tired from work, I just come home, sit on the couch, and drink beer." And then they they're surprised when they get dumped because the girl goes to yoga and learns how to cook with, and meets right. with people all the time and goes out and is social. And the guy's like, "That's just so... a stagnant bump on a log," and she's all over the place. And that's true. And that, so here's the thing, ladies, write this down. You know, a, a guy who's really ready for a relationship will. That's a that is a uh, qualification. I want someone who will grow with me. Totally. So the fact that you're here and you're watching this and you care about your personal development. I would say that's a good clue, yeah. That's sexy and that's hot. So um, he just told you what men want, so really literally don't have to wonder anymore. So right. thank you, Jordan, for making it so easy to you're understand. Welcome. Welcome <laughs> See, it's done. See you guys next time. Bye. Peace.